hi friends welcome back in today's video in this tutorial i am gonna show you how you can simply prepare and administer iv artusinate for injection for the treatment of severe malaria so this is artusinate for injection in today's video i just want to show you how you can simply dilute and prepare for artusinate injection step by step so before so what you do make sure first you get all the supplies that you require for you to perform so first you may have you may need a cannula you will need a syringe for you to reconstruct the drug you will need a 21 gauge needle you will need an alcohol swabs for you to clean the vial or for you to clean the vein you will need disposable gloves for you to use as a tiny cube you will need cotton wool for you to apply pressure on the area where you have given the shot you will need adhesive blaster for you to secure the cannula or to dress the cannula so <clears throat> then what you do you start by introducing yourself to the patient you gain consent for you to continue then what you do the first step is you have to first set up and secure the cannula then you start by applying a tinnicle first so make sure you apply a tinnic first for you to do the IV cannulation. First you apply a tinnic then what you do, you get an alcohol swaps. You clean the vein first before you insert the cannula. So you get the patient's hand, you make detraction, then you clean the vein first before you start inserting the cannula into the vein. Then you allow the skin to dry for some time then you make sure you do retraction for the vein to be very feasible then what you do you get the cannula you remove from the manufacturer's packaging then you attach the wings you secure it first make sure you attach it first before you start inserting the cannula then what you do you remove the cap of the cannula then you get the patient's hand you insert 15 degree angle deep into the vein. Then you will see a primary flashback. When you see a primary flashback, you pull back the needle. Then you will see a secondary flashback. Then what you do, you advance the cannula deep into the vein. You release the tinnicule. Then you remove the cap of the cannula. You apply pressure on the tip of the cannula. You completely release, remove the needle from the cannula, then you attach the cap of the cannula, then you start dressing the cannula, you get adhesive blaster, then you start securing the cannula. Make sure first you dress the cannula. So this is how you are going to dress the cannula first before you start administering the drug to the patient so you start by dressing the cannula first make sure you secure the cannula first you get another piece of adhesive plaster so that you can adequately secure the cannula. So this is how you are going to dress the cannula. Then after you have finished securing the cannula, then what to do? You start by bribing the drug for you to administer to the patient so what you will need it you have to get a syringe you remove the syringe from the manufacturer's packaging then what you do you place it on the working bench then what you do you get a 21 gauge needle you remove it from the manufacturer's packaging then you get the syringe from the packaging you attach the syringe into the needle then you remove it from the packaging you put back the syringe into the packaging then what you do you get the artusinate 
so you get the artesanate for injection then what you do before you start make sure you check the labeling of the drug you have to confirm the name of the drug and the uh, dose of the patient you have to cons you, you must also confirm method of administration that is for IM or IV use so when you're admitting the drug for intravenous use you have to dilute all the style water for injection into the vial when you're preparing the drug for IM injection you have to reconstruct only with four milliliters of style water for injection then what you do you remove the drug from the packaging then this is what you will find this is the vial containing white powder of IV or IM artosanate so you have to check the expiry date of the drug confirm the expiry date of the drug then you will also find 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate you will also find 10 ml of style water for injection so when you are preparing when you are going to give the drug through intravenous route you are supposed to reconstitute or dilute all the sodium chloride water for injection into the vial when you are preparing the drug for IM route you are supposed to reconstitute the drug with 4 ml of sodium chloride ok let us proceed then what you do first you get the sodium bicarbonate make sure first you break the sodium bicarbonate you break the sodium bicarbonate you get the syringe you remove the cap of the needle so you withdraw the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate it's both of the waste then you put back the syringe into the packaging then what you do you get an alcohol swaps you get an alcohol swaps then you open or flip off the opening of the vial then you start cleaning the opening of the vial at least for 20 seconds and you allow it to dry for 30 seconds make sure first you clean the opening of the vial with an alcohol swaps for at least 20 seconds and you allow it to dry for 30 seconds then what you do you get the syringe you add the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate into the vial so you add first the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate into the vial then what you do you get the cap of the needle you put back into the syringe make sure you put the syringe into the packaging to avoid contamination then what you do you get the vial of the artesanate you start shaking it gently until all the drug is completely dissolved so when you finish shaking the vial then that's the time when you can add the sodium chloride water for injection into the vial so make sure first you dissolve the drug completely containing no feasible particles or maybe foreign particles the solution should look clearly it should not look like the form of milk because it did not dissolve it completely then you place the vial into the working bench you wait for some time the drug to dissolve then what you do you get the 10 ml of sodium chloride then what you do you get an alcohol swaps you get an alcohol swaps you you open or fill up of the opening of sodium chloride then what you do you clean the opening of sodium chloride then what you do you get the syringe from the packaging you remove the cap of the needle then what you do you withdraw all the 10 ml of sodium sodium chloride you can now add it or dilute it into the vial containing the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate make sure you remove any air purple you put back the cap of the needle then what you do you get the vial you get the syringe now you can add the 10 ml of sodium chloride into the vial 
then you transfer, you incorporate all the 10 mils of sodium chloride into the vial. Then you start shaking it gently like this. So this is how you are going to dissolve the drug. So make sure the drug should be clear. It should be clearly containing no feasible particles. You release the blancher, allowing some air purple into the syringe. Again, you push the blancher. Make sure that you dissolve all the drug. Then what you do when you finish mixing, you remove the needle from the vial. Then what you do, you get the vial, you shake it gently until all the drug is completely dissolved. I hope you can see the solution is clear. Now it is completely dissolved, containing no feasible particles. Then what you do, now you are supposed to withdraw the drug from the vial. Then what you do, you put equal amount of air into the vial. Make sure you put equal amount of air into the vial for you to withdraw the drug from the vial. So you put equal amount of air into the vial. Then you hold the vial horizontally. Then you start withdrawing the drug from the vial. I hope you can see. Make sure you keep the needle in line with the drug to avoid air purple rushing into the syringe. Make sure you withdraw all the drug from the vial. When you finish, remove the needle from the vial. Then you dispose of the vial into a sharp spin. Make sure you remove any air purples. Then what you do, you put back the needle into the cup. Make sure you put the syringe into the packaging to avoid contamination. Then what you do, before you administer, make sure that you follow the eight rights of drug administration. That is right patient, right drug, right route, right dose, right time, right reason, and the right documentation. Then now you can administer the drug to the patient. Then what you do, you get an alcohol swaps. Make sure you clean the opening of the cannula before you start administering the drug to the patient. You apply pressure on the tip of the cannula. Then what you do, you clean the opening of the cannula with an alcohol swaps. Then what you do, you get the drug you open the cap of the needle, then you insert the syringe into the opening of the cannula, then you can administer the drug safely to the patient, it's slowly. So this is how you are going to administer IV artusanate for the treatment of severe malaria. So when you finish giving the drug, make sure you apply pressure on the tip of the cannula, you remove the syringe from the cannula, then you put it into the sharp spin, you get the cap of the cannula, you attach it, then what you do, make sure you have to label the date you have done. So today is 19 June 2025. Make sure you label the date you have done the procedure for the cannulation so that you can and you can change it after three days. So this is how you are going to administer. I hope you find the video helpful. Kindly please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and share and give your comment to this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.